Today, guys, we are testing what I think has been the biggest improvement from Callaway. We're testing the AI Smoke Paradigm Driver, but we are testing the Max version. So not straight into the Triple Diamond, which I did use last year, which I thought was the best driver of 2023. We're going to get this in the hands of a mid-handicap golfer. I certainly think the looks have improved, the sounds improved, the performance has improved, but will it improve this guy's driving? He has got a new driver, but it's still probably the weakest part of his game. Let's see if it's the driver. Well, let's see if it's him. Right, in comes Dave. Well, so thanks for the confidence builder, Chris. But I I've built you up there, Dave. I think, fire it up. I, think, um, I think we can definitely say that it's me, not the drivers. Yeah, so again here we've got this set at 10.5 degrees, so exactly what his PHG, which he has just got for Christmas off Mrs. Harrison. Uh, again, really enjoying that. He's got that in the nice PHG flatter setting to stop those left shots, which it certainly has done. We've now got... The AI Smoke Max. Again, a little bit low. Yeah. Face strike, Dave, low on the face. Yes. Yep. It was there. Pretty low on the face. So, again, that's going to encourage it to launch a little bit lower. So, but Dave's that's, working that's on his. That's actually my bad shot, isn't it? It is, yeah, and Dave's certainly working on his swing, guys, and if you are enjoying the content, please do consider hitting that subscribe button below. We are going to be doing some lessons with Dave in coming weeks, obviously trying to work on his game. We're in February now, so it's the big build-up for the season. We need the equipment right, but we also need him swinging it well to lower his scores. Another low one. Another low one. Again, finish position a little bit controversial, but sound, Dave, off that? Sound and feel? I know they were a little bit bottomy, but sound, straight I like, away. I prefer the sound to the, um, the TaylorMade that we uh, tested the other, whenever yeah. it was. We've tested the QI10 on the channel, and again, that um, Max version sounded a bit tinny, didn't it? Yeah, they, they sounded all right. Um, they just felt okay. Yeah. But they didn't perform as well as the uh, no. TaylorMade. So far, not. So far, we'll, anyway. We'll get up there. And guys, this is a big thing. Obviously, when you're thinking about drivers, you need to make sure you've got the right setup of shaft. Is it the driver head that's going to help you, or is it lessons that you do need? Obviously, you need to think about it. Is your game just needing a little bit of improvement? It's not a driver that's going to magically get you hitting it another 20 yards, although Damn. Dave likes to think that. Obviously, he's hitting his PHG a little bit better. But let's jump into the studio now with this paradigm and start to see Dave's actual numbers compared to his PHG before we put them to the test against each other out here at Waterfront Golf. So guys, now inside with the AI Smoke Max driver. So like I said out there, don't be put off that it is a Max. Obviously Dave's hit some uh, different shots out there, some good, some bad. Obviously we want to see this for numbers. We know Dave's got a driver that Mrs. Harrison paid $199. How does this compare at $499? And obviously, Dave, price is obviously a big talking point, not just because you're a Yorkshireman, but in general, obviously, golfs, they have got a little bit cheaper this year, £50 yeah, pounds down. They've come down a little bit, but is, is that price in comparison to what you can but pay for last year's model, are you getting that much of a difference? Yeah, so last year's model, the paradigms have come under, probably just under £300 pounds now, so... Big differences wise in regards to price. For me, obviously, we talked about looks out there, and Dave, obviously, you prefer this look to last year's Max model, or? Yes, I do. It's, it's a nice looking um, shelf appeal, especially because the bottom of it looks lovely. Yeah. But down at the, you know, down at the ball, I do prefer it. I like the um, the matte bit at the front. Yeah, it doesn't look as a bigger difference between that and the triple diamond, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, and obviously, looks is something that gives you confidence. If Dave can get confidence with it, but let's put it to the test for numbers now. Let's see how it stands against the PXG, which we'll test back out on the golf course. Straight Decent. Away. Pretty good shot. Yeah. Carry wise, 180 going, 200, which is what we've what we've expected recently. Yes. Yeah. So let's go a couple more. Again, club head speed there was 90, so exactly what we know from Dave. Ooh. Slightly miscentered shot, Dave. Yes. Well, let's see what that does for an off-centered hit. So 175 carry. 192, so interesting there. Didn't lose much yardage, Dave, for an off And it's on the hit. course. And it's on the course, which is always a good thing. Again, guys, you'll see on the channel, we have done a lot of testing, and we are throughout the year with older clubs and how they compare. 
obviously not only price wise but performance wise where is the change strike wise dave that felt towy but it's it's not performed like it was so we 176 carry 193 so front to back very consistent yeah. there let's grab your phg and just get a couple of numbers with that because dispersion wise there not only front to back but right to left they were all in the fairway and all within probably seven yards of each other so very consistent there with that drive and dave certainly had some different strikes there just like it on the golf course is that what you're paying that difference for again we know dave's driver the 0311 xf gem 5 phg is not too old but will it have a bigger difference so a little slip forwards but let's look at numbers wise 173 wasn't the best, wasn't the best balanced uh, 119 shot, strike wise a little uh, well centered wasn't very well centred now. No. Sounded a little bit high on the face, if anything, if you can go by sound. Oh, and just up that left hand side, yeah. carry wise. Poor. 160 going 180. But again, is that more you, Dave? Uh, yeah. And strike wise? I hit it low on the face there, Chris. It was awful. Yeah, so that was the worst strike of the lot. So we are going to obviously lose more distance with that potentially. Let's see if Dave can get one right. Or is he going to have to get the old hand in the pocket? Oh no, not again. Hmm? All that way today, Chris. Consistent, 170 running to 190. So interesting, guys, that the numbers there is showing that the AI Smelt Max driver it was actually working, obviously, better for Dave, but that is a mid handicapper, that is off centered hits. He's not <laughs> probably hit his PHG like you wanted, Dave. No, not at all. So obviously, it's then obviously 10 yards difference in it, probably with carry in total, but not a good strike as of yet with the PHG. But are oh, the off centered hits just a little bit better? on that newer driver even if it's only a year or so 170 going 190 yeah. so let's get back out on the golf course let's put this to a test in its real element and start to see has they made the right decision should you go brand new should you go maybe a year old or like the series we've got on the channel could you go back a decade and still get a pretty similar distance so guys interesting numbers there inside but back out on the golf course now which is going to be performing again this is the real test we want it out on a golf course out on a hole where dave needs a good drive can we get that pxg up first let's see do we get that towering flight and down the middle dave's played a blinder there through the tree Never mind, at the tree. But again, good flight there, Dave. A nice little draw. Yeah, came, straight, came right off the middle. I was aiming up there because I was expecting more of a hook because, you know, that generally is my shot. Yeah, obviously inside it was pretty straight, but obviously with the PHG setting, Dave can still manipulate it a little <laughs> bit to the left. Okay, in with the Callaway Max driver. We've had to borrow this off James Robinson, so Dave has just nudged that tee a little bit further down <laughs> after the incident he's had... I mean, it's nearly a year ago, Dave, but it's There's still, no proof it was me. There is no video proof anywhere that it was me. It's still mentioned on a regular basis, at least three times a week. It needs to get over it, doesn't it, really? Right, here's the Max driver. So, pretty good inside. Let's see here, out on the golf course. A little bit lower. Hmm. Which again, we know that can be Dave. Yeah, that's more me than this. But guys, that's exactly the test we want to do. We've tested it inside. Numbers are very similar, but out on the golf course, yes, we know Dave's not going to have the same swing every single time, but <laughs> the PHG had a little bit more confidence over it, struck it well straight out of the middle, then goes on to a Callaway where he should still have confidence because he's just hit a good drive and doesn't quite match it. So the price difference nearly being £300, is it worth it? Or are you better off getting something second hand to help you lower your scores this year?